so far so good. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, three? Yeah, you don't have much time left, right? Uh, what can I tell you? What can you tell us? <laughs> I can tell you we it's a direct pickup um, from the finale last season. Obviously, Nora came back from the future and you know, dropped this massive bomb on them. At A, she's their daughter from the future, and B, that she screwed up. So, uh, this year thematically, we're, we're sort of exploring the idea of legacy. Um, you know, what you leave behind for Barry and, and Iris and the team. Everybody has this sort of question that they're, they're asking themselves. But for Barry, particularly, it's, you know, what's more important, me being a, a great speedster, or me being the Flash, or me being a great father. Um, so, you know, Barry is certainly messed up time after time uh, when he travels in time. So, uh, it's, it's fun to be for him, to have him on the other side of it and uh, try to help Nora get through this. Are there some fatherly moments where, you know, since they're relatively close in age, going, I'm your father, you have to listen to me type of... Uh, yeah, it's aspect. interesting. There are. There's, um, like, I'm a father of two boys and, you know, I put my foot down quite often. And, and um, But it's interesting for Barry and Iris, they... Uh, they're dealing with an adult, you know, it's almost more like the way Joe and Wally were introduced, so, um, but it's, it's different where, you know, I think when, when, uh, when Iris first meets her, she has an instant connection, uh, or she feels it, and Barry's a little bit more hesitant, they've been burned before with people coming into Star Lab saying I'm so-and-so and they're not, so... Barry's a little bit more hesitant, but, but Nora is super stoked to be with her now. So um, it's interesting, as we sh as we saw last season, um, Nora kind of ignored Iris. Which is so That's good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <Right? laughs> but uh, you'll find out what that rift is. Speaking of uh, the interruption, yeah. uh, what can you tell us, if anything, about the character he's Tom Cavanaugh will play in this season? Have you? Has he talked to you guys yet? Not yet. I think it'll, it'll be better coming from him. But at the end of last year, Tom and I sat down, and you know, I mean, I, I wish that we could take all the credit, but we don't. A lot of it's him. So we sort of talk generally about how do we tell, you know, how do we create a character that's different and unique and still fun and funny and, and mean something to the team. And so we landed on this guy that sort of provides us a way. Um, uh, it, 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 it gives us avenues into the big bad. It gives us avenues into all of the team. And, and um, it, it helps in a lot of ways uh, with his relationship with the Wells, uh, Ralph Gibney relationship. It be fun. Yeah. So are we going to see um, Nora make any mistakes that get a chance to kind of be like, no, let me tell you this is the wrong kind of situation. Are we going to see that? Yeah, I mean, in episode one, um, uh, you learn a lot about the mistake that she made, and uh, it's kind of mind-boggling to him. Uh, but, I mean, it's funny, because he created Flashpoint, right? So I don't know if you ever top that, but what, what, but, uh, what she tells him sort of is on that. So whereas he accidentally changed John's daughter to a son, does she erase her twin brother in the womb? Oh, well, that's funny. Maybe now. Kind of credit. I'll send you a check. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I don't think we're going to do much of that sort of time, like the, the, the follow-up with, with things like that, but... Um, there's a lot of, okay, well, I've done, the, I, I'm, I'm back now, I did something in the past, and how does it affect me 30 years from now? Who's keeping the Oh my god, it's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it's funny, when I when I got hired to write on the show, uh, I was super stoked about time travel, and then after doing it for three years, I'm like, we can't, we need to take a break. <laughs> uh, so we did last year, and then I was really excited to do it again this year, until we start breaking the first episode, I'm like, oh my god, all these headaches again. No, I mean it's a lot of fun, but it's it's kind of like um, it, it's. I think people online have probably you know a more detailed because we just ran out of board space. If we you know it would be as big as this room. Uh, yeah. I mean there's like 47 timelines. Thanks very much. Thank you.